Good morning, Sunday morning. Uh, not a huge lot to say today in terms of updates. And I've got to try and keep this camera from not swinging around. A couple of comments. Fair enough. I'm not a great cameraman, I accept that. The layout is now completely powered um, all the way down these sidings here. Um, and I've added, try to keep the movement to the minimum, I've added some extra length there, as you can see from the hatch. Uh, quite easy to do really. I'll probably put buffer stops on the end there. Obviously don't want stuff rolling off down there, the landing. Um, yeah, that's all powered using the chop bot method. The points are all now in, all of the cobalts. Superb, uh, I have to say, really, really, really good uh, point motors. Just one tip here, and it's and it's this, it's this this here. You can see I've got points that are not a traditional crossover when they're arranged like this. Um, so the, the the bit that comes off is going onto the, well the straight is going to the bit that comes off as it were. So it's slightly differently oriented. The straight points. Um, and if I uh, program them together to change at the same time, you get a problem. Um, in that, uh, the, 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 they won't. So this one will change to go straight, but this one changes to go off. So you don't really get the right crossover you want. I've reoriented. I turned the cobalt round, so it, it does do that. But thinking about it, I lose some functionality because I can't have a train coming this way. And a train coming this way then, so I'm going to reprogram this to be separate from this one. That's something that I learnt. I hope that makes sense when you've got a, a, a turnout that looks like that. So they will be separate and not a crossover. And I, that kind of dawned on me yesterday. Um, I've got all my plates now. I've got all the eight race horses. They're up on the wall up here. Um, just the small task of getting power. To the hatch. That's quite an easy task, really. I've just got to put some, some droppers in there. I'm going to do that right now. Then it's completely powered all the way to the end. Um, works very nicely. So well, there's significantly less wiring on this version of my layout. Um, as you can see, I get a really nice run. Ah, I'm going for. I'm going to get rid of my KDs and I'm going to go back to the NEM pocket couplings. I'm using this gauge master uncoupler. You can see the train pulls in there, uncouples, moves forward. Train comes in at the other end there, picks it up, pulls it out. Locomotive then performs a head shunt and goes up the middle siding here, the siding, middle lane, and waits its next turn of duty. And it has the, these lights as well to go for it. So uh, I've got loads of those lights to put in. Just working out which is which. So, thanks for watching. Have a good week.